Play the summer reading game at the Chicago Public Library, June 14th through August 7th. Watching TV 44, WSNS Chicago. It's time for the Saturday Monster Movie. Stay tuned. Hi. Hi, Mike. Well, hey, wake up. This is Mike, remember? Boy with a golden heart and the memory of an elephant. Look, I remember, see? Happy birthday, Carol. Thanks. Well, aren't you going to open it? Not now. What's wrong? It's Dad. He didn't come home last night. So what? You know, it doesn't mean a thing. I mean, you know how he is. What do you mean, I know how he is? Well, nothing. I... Now, where didn't he come home from last night? Well, he went to Springdale yesterday to buy me a present. He said he'd be back before dinner last night, but he still hasn't come back yet. Well, that doesn't mean a thing, Carol. I mean, it isn't the first time. You're mean, Mike. And I don't want your silly present either. Here! Electrons jump from one electrode to the other because of the difference in the electrical potential between the two poles. 
Now, this one is the negative pole, from which electricity flows to the positive pole. We call the positive pole what? Anode. Correct. The negative pole? Anode. Good. If the voltage applied to these electrodes is increased to a greater amplitude, the electrical arc in turn will be greater. The larger the arc becomes, the more dangerous it is to anything that may be placed in its path. Now, one thing to remember is that the flow of electrons is always from the negative to the positive. The reason for this is that the positive pole has higher electrical potential. Now, on a simple voltaic cell, the positive electrode is made of copper, the negative of zinc. A similar experiment to the one we've conducted here was recently carried out at Wisconsin Tech, using a voltage many thousands of times greater, which produced a spark closely simulating actual lightning. It isn't the voltage that creates the hazard, it's the amount of current flow. If a man were to come in contact with a high voltage without a direct path to ground, it's probable that he wouldn't be harmed. However, if the circuit's completed to ground, the current will flow unhampered and cause him to be electrocuted. Now for our next experiment. If Mike, Carol, and Joe have finished their business. I can't blame people for what they think. Even Mother says he must have run into some of his old cronies and stayed in town. He had his paycheck with him. But I know it isn't true. Not this time. He promised he'd be back. I know something's happened to him. Sure it did. Maybe he ran out of gas. He'd never meet anybody on this road. Hold everything. What do you call that? tree up there and switched across the highway and it's between two trees. Who would do a thing like that? I don't know. I don't even know what this stuff is. You know, it looks like there's been a, an accident around here or something. There's figures. A guy driving along last night hits this thing stretched across the highway and cracks it up. See the glass? Wouldn't do too good for Joe's tires, would it? You know, maybe that's what happened to your old man. Where is he now? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Carol. He's probably hanging around some garage waiting for a busted fender to get fixed. Love, Dad. Okay, so he dropped it when the accident happened. What of it? If he was all right, he wouldn't leave it laying here. If he was in a garage, he'd call Mother and let her know. What's that down there? There's no pickup truck. That's what Dad was driving. Those stories about the cave, maybe he doesn't either. You know, it got pretty cold last night. Suppose he couldn't walk far. I wanted to, well, keep warm and, and until help came. Come on, let's go take a look.
find anything, Mike? Oh, no. Do you really think it could be in there? Well, I, I don't know. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe I better go and you, you wait here, will you? Well, be careful. Mike? What? You won't go very far, will you? People have gone in there and never come out again. right here near the opening if you wanted to keep warm. We can go a little further in. I'm going with you. The 700 Club presents a special program, television, a new beginning. America is ready for this television alternative now. Look behind the scenes at exciting new TV shows soon to be released. Television, a new beginning. New in concepts, new in direction, new in programming that will capture your imagination. Join host Pat Robertson for a look at the future of television, a new beginning. Watch television, a new beginning, starting May 18th. Though we gotta say goodbye for the summer. Sessions presents Everlasting Love, featuring the greatest easy listening hits of the 60s. Oh, I still go, I still go. The Mermaid. Baseball and the Fancy Club. How gentle is the rain. The Toys. That ball caught me on the bed. So fairy, cross the Mersey. Gary in the pacemaker. Cause this land. Place I love. Everlasting Love contains 20 full-length original hits by the original artists, recapturing the golden sound of a memorable era, all in one sensational collection. We'll sing in the sunshine. Gail Garnett. We'll laugh every day. Monday, Monday. Oh, Mothers and Poppers. Oh, so good to me. The younger girl. The Critters. cross my mind. You're sure to reminisce the mood of the 60s with everlasting love. This unique treasury is not available in any store, so order today. Love me with all your heart. Ray Charles Singer. That's all I want to And it keeps right on Johnny Tillotson. You might wake up some morning. Bob Lynn. To the sound. Everlasting Love will give you many hours of listening enjoyment. Stereo long playing record only $8.98. 8 track or cassette tape only $9.98. Here's how to order right now. To order call 312 960 Operators on duty. That's 312 960 Or save $3 COD charge by sending check or money order to Everlasting Love. Box 5000, Department J, Chicago, Illinois, 60680. That's Everlasting Love, Box 5000, Department J, Chicago, Illinois, 60680, Illinois residents at sales tax. It's no use. He doesn't seem to be in here either. Oh, let's not give up yet, please, Mark. Who said anything about giving up? We're just getting started. Now, this cave is supposed to go way back under that mountain forever. Dad! Dad!
Mike. Mike, I, I think we'd better go back. I think you're right. But I, I can't go without... I might as well look a little further, I guess. Okay, Carol. I think so. What is the thing we fell in? I don't know. It's sticky, though. Can't really get loose. I know. I can't. Just like glue. You know, it's, it's like that ropey stuff we, we found up on the road. What's that noise? I don't know. It's a regular net we're on, you know that? There it is again. piece of natural silk. What did we tell you? But that doesn't necessarily prove there's a giant spider. That part's pretty hard to swallow. But we saw it. Believe me, my son is not in the habit of lying, Mrs. Keatman. That isn't what Helen meant. Whether we believe their story or not, the man to see about it is the sheriff. Yeah, sure, see the sheriff. He did. He didn't believe them. Mr. Kingman, what can I do for you? Well, don't go yet. It's only that high school teacher. Well, you know these teenagers as well as I do, Mr. Kingman. Yeah, what will they pull next, huh? <laughs> Spiders. I told them to bring me one, and I believe it. Well, I can't say I blame you, Sheriff. Naturally, I didn't call you up to get you to investigate abnormal insect life. But Flynn's still missing, I believe. The youngsters found traces of him out there. You may be doing yourself a favor if you looked into that. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth, Mr. Kingman. The fact of the matter is I've got my deputy Sanders out rounding up a search party right now. Get yeah, half a dozen men. Spencer, Haskell, maybe old Jake, anyone else that isn't busy. Bring them here, I'll swear them in. Uh, well, I'll need those two kids with us to point things out. And uh, you want to come along too? That's fine. Oh, don't you worry. We'll bring rifles in case we run into that spider. <laughs> Anything else on your mind? Well, speaking of spiders, are you sure rifles are just the thing? Insects have a pretty simple nervous system, Sheriff. You could plug holes in one all day and never hit a vital spot. If you want to be on the safe side, call the pest control people in Springdale. Have them send out all the DDT they can find. Good. <laughs> A giant spider. What next?
Yeah, bring your bug juice and let's go. Hey, what are we using it out? Does it make any difference? Well, I've got to mix the DDT according to what you want killed. What do I tell him, Professor? Uh, spiders? A 2 to 4% solution is the usual dose. Make it 50. Side of the man next to you. No sense in anyone getting lost. Just a minute. This is a waste of time. You know something? I haven't seen a spider yet, and I don't think we will. You will if he's still there. It'd be just our luck if he'd moved into the next county. <laughs> I don't think you'll be disappointed. There's something in here, all right. You naturally expect to find a certain amount of wildlife in a cave, rats, mice, bats, and so on. But you don't. They've been frightened out. Ah. Hey, Kingman. That's about as big as they come, I'd say. I wouldn't handle it if I were you. It might have rabies. song and you are a superstar a rock idol and here's 37 of the greatest hit songs of the greatest rock idols of all time there's paul anka
Yes, they're all here on three huge records. All your favorites, the great rock idols that had the girls screaming in the aisles. 37 fabulous hits by great stars like Neil Sedaka. If you go, then I'll be blue. Cause breaking up is hard to do. Conway Twitty. Tommy James. Yes, we can. Just a Jimmy dream, Plank. just a dream. Jimmy Rogers. Call, I want to be my baby. I'm a walk in the rain. Listen while I talk to you. Here's the super song buy of the year. Three records packed with 37 unforgettable hits from idols of rock and roll. And you get all three records for just $10.98. Two tapes or cassettes, only $11.98. What a time, what an era. And here's how you can bring it all back now. To order, call toll-free, 1-800-228-1500. That's 1-800-228-1500. Or to save sorting and handling charges, send 10 dollars eat for the record package, 11 dollars eat for the E-Track or cassette, to Rock Idols. P.O. Box A, 3731, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. That's Rock Idols. P.O. Box A, 3731, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. When you get back to town, make out a coroner's report. Just put down Jack Flynn as the name, and the cause of death, the... Uh... It was a spider. Drained all the liquid out of his body. Uh, just put down cause unknown, and let the coroner worry about the rest. That's trouble with you eggheads. You jump to conclusions. I know what I see, and I see a dead man. But, uh, I don't see any spider. No, we can do something about that. Mike, where was the web? Right through there. Wait a minute, you don't know what you're doing. You, you can't just walk in there. Well, why not? <laughs> Find any giant spider, Sheriff? Oh, shut up. Get that DDT in here quick. I suggest you spray that whole cavern so it'll get it when it comes back. Talk to your mother first? No, thanks. I, I can do it. 
I really believe you can. The box with the bracelet. Are you sure you had it? It was in this pocket. Maybe I dropped it in there. You can't go back there now. The place is full of gas. We'll come back some other time together. When you get back to town, tell old Warren to get right out here and board this entrance up. Right, Sheriff. Well, if you do, I suggest you put a big wide door in it. The whole world is going to want to come here and take a look at that thing down there. Well, what's your idea? That the town should charge admission? Well, that isn't what I was thinking of. You know what we eggheads are like, Sheriff. We want to know why this, how come that, what about the other. That's a matter of scientific interest to find out what made that creature tick. Well, it's too late now. It's dead. The spider is. But not the principle that caused it to grow. That's still for us to discover. Well, why bother? We have to put an end to it. Otherwise, there may be more giant spiders coming into the world. They may even be hatching from their eggs in some remote spot right now. Do you realize how easy it would be for them to overcome us humans? Then instead of being the hunters, we'd become the hunted. They'd be our masters. They'd live on us. Well, what would you suggest the sheriff's office of River Falls do about it, Mr. Kingman? Bring that spider up into the daylight, where it can be studied properly. Now, well, if you want to do it, go ahead. But leave me out. It's not my job, and I don't want any part of it. Okay, Sheriff. Ugly creature, isn't it? I can think of more suitable subjects for my camera club to take pictures of. What are you going to do with them? Send it to the papers? Oh, just the opposite. One big advantage of living in an isolated mountain community like River Falls is not having reporters crawling all over the place. Yet. So I'm going to send these photographs along with a complete report to Dr. Bergen. Stay to you. Nancy, would you get me some close-ups, please? Oh, sure. Good old Bergen. I had him for biology in my junior year. You know, I know exactly what he's going to say. Gentlemen, this is a perfect specimen. Exquisite, exquisite. I can't quite appreciate the humor in it myself. I saw it when it was still alive. I expect the university is going to want it for experiment and dissection. Frankly, I'll feel relieved when they come and take it off my hands. I can't say I blame you. It is a little unhandy. Took a house mover from Riverdale to get it here. Cost me half my savings. Besides wanting my money back, I'd like to get the high school board off my neck. Suppose the university doesn't go for it. Well, you'd better. Do you think I'm going to all this bother merely because I've come across a scientific wonder? Not a bit. Somewhere in that hideous carcass are the genes that control organic growth. Men had better find out what made this creature so big and find out fast or we're all going to be in pretty serious trouble. Usually, if nature produces a freak, it dies immediately because it can't adapt itself to life. It's what we ordinarily call a bird spider. But the wonder of it is it's perfect, Fraser. Perfect in every detail. Fraser, you hurt? Are you sure that thing's dead? I'm sure it's dead. How come it kicked me? It's just a muscular contraction. Galvani's reaction, it's called. It often happens. Not to me, it doesn't. If it can do that when it's dead, I sure hate to meet it somewhere alive. <laughs> Don't. I can't help it, Mother. I know. I loved him, too. I keep thinking it was my fault. How could it be? It never would have happened if he hadn't gone to get me that present. Now I've lost it. You mustn't think of it that way, Carol. Why did I have to drop it in that cave? I wanted so much to keep it, Mother. Forget about it now, dear. You have your homework to get ready for tomorrow. Oh, 
And I forgot, Mike called you twice before you got home from school and said he would be at his father's theater. Oh, thanks, Mother. Mike, this is Carol. You said you'd take me out to the cave to find the bracelet. You don't mean right now, do you? If you can get away. Please, Mike. Oh, Carol, not today. My dad just got in a new picture, and I haven't even seen it yet. Something about puppet people. It sounds pretty wild. Please? Okay, Carol. I, I think I can borrow Joe's car again. Only don't come by the house for me. I don't want Mother to know I'm going out there. All right, I'll be, I'll be down at the corner in 15 minutes. I'll be waiting. I'll see you, Dad. I got a date now. Where will you be? I said, where will you be if I want you? Today, Union Custom Built Garages cost less than you ever thought possible. Choose any brand new 1981 Union Custom Built Garage. Any size, any model, any style. Buy your garage for so much less if you call now. 625-1000. $14.99 is all you pay for your special Union Custom Built Garage. $14.99 includes all these features. Just $14.99. No installment payments for 90 days. Don't delay. Call 625-1000 now. Operators on duty. Call 625-1000. Hello, I'm Tomas, hairstylist to many important stars. And what is important to every woman is healthy looking hair. That's why I'm here to tell you about Pro-E, the professional hair conditioner that is now available to every woman for the first time. Just one short treatment with Pro-E after shampooing and you will see how Pro-E not only helps split ends, but effectively deals with the damage caused from too much blow drying and the use of harsh chemicals in tinting, perming and straightening. Look here. On this side, Carolyn's hair was shampooed but not treated with Pro-E. See the split ends, the dullness, the damaged hair? Now look at the side treated with Pro-E. Healthy looking, bouncy and manageable, richer and more alive. Because Pro-E has a special rich protein formula that penetrates deep, healing the damage as it reveals your hair's natural protein. Why don't you give your hair a start treatment with Pro-E? Now available to every woman for the first time. Only $7.98 for a six treatment supply. So easy to use, just follow the instructions. And Pro-E comes complete with a money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied after just one treatment. In addition to your Pro-E conditioner, order now and you will also receive as a gift at the very special Pro-E coconut hot oil treatment that will give your hair luxurious luster and body. Order now and get your free gift. Here's how. To order your Pro-E hair conditioner and free coconut treatment, call 1-800-228-3300. That's 1-800-228-3300. Or to save COD charges, send 798 to Beautiful Hair. P.O. Box A, 3731, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. Remember, Pro-E comes with a money-back guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied, then return for your money back, but keep the coconut oil as our gift to you. That address again is Beautiful Hair. P.O. Box A, 3731, Chicago, Illinois, 60690 or call 1-800-228-3300. Hey, Joe! Hi! Hey, um, you remember that five bucks I loaned you? Sure, it was last Christmas, and I paid it back. Oh, well, all I mean is, well, I'm your friend, you know that. You want to borrow five bucks? Oh, no, no. Carol and I use your wagon for a couple of hours. Again? What's the big deal? Well, what do you care? Look, we're friends, Joe. Just remember, why aren't you coming to the rehearsal? Look, my mom is getting tired. Are we friends or aren't we? Okay, okay. 
car's in the driveway. You'll find the keys in the glove compartment. Where else? Why do I have so many friends? Thanks, Joe. Sure. Come on, Joe. We got problems. No soap. It's off limits. I told you. Look, we gotta get in. The dance is tomorrow night. Well, the cat's a little blast if we don't swing solid. Hey, let's get the janitor. Maybe you'll open the pen. Oh, not with Mr. Eight Legs still in there. Well, they can't hang us for trying, can they? Hugo! Hugo! Hey, Hugo! Hugo! Who's calling Hugo? Well, now, what's the matter here? We want in. We've got to develop our talents. Well, you'll have to use the auditorium until further notice. The principal's orders. No can do. The drama class is there. No, I can't help that. Kingman is just here checking up. Told me particular not to let nobody in. Well, Kingman didn't meet us. He meant square. We're the coolest zoologists in town. No, sir. The moving people are coming here tonight to move that thing to the university. You can rehearse all you want to do afterward. In the dead of night, Hugo were only little kids. Mommy wouldn't let us. Well, all right, you monsters. And now I want you to behave yourself. Don't talk you with that thing. Dig that? Now the first guy who steps on Danny Longlegs is going to hear from Hugo. Maybe the drama class is through the auditorium. Let's blow this place. It gives me the creep. What is it, Superman? Chickening out? Well, certainly not. Well, then let's stop goofing up, huh?
Anyone comes for me, I'll be at Sanders' funeral. I'll get it. Great guy, Pete Sanders was. You've got plenty to live up to. Sheriff's office, cable speaking. What? All right, Mr. Kingman, I'll meet you at the school. You stay here and answer the phone. Helen! What is it, Art? Be a good idea if you stayed inside the house for a while. Oh, well, I was just going to take the baby for his checkup and do some shopping for dinner. Stay in the house, Helen, no matter what. I'll be back as soon as I can. you to get to Springdale on it. Maybe an hour, maybe less. Go ahead and get the governor on the phone. Tell him we've got to have troops from Fort Brown, also flamethrowers and artillery. Tell him we need DDT. No good. That stuff just stunned it. All right, Dave, on your way. Three, Dave. can dissolve marriages, 
friendships, careers, self-respect. A woman may feel ashamed, try to hide her problem, but alcoholism grows in the dark. Admitting that you have a problem is the first step toward gaining control of it. If you think you or someone you care about has a drinking problem, help is available. Look in the yellow pages under alcoholism. This message is from the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. You're watching WSNS-TV 44 Chicago. soon for the troops to be here. I know. I thought they might fly a few men in with whirlybirds. I'll give them time. Hey, isn't that Jake? Wait a minute, Jake! Where to, Jake? I'm evacuating. That darn monster run me out of house and home. Well, which way was it heading? Toward Maple Street. I've had it. Maple Street? Helen. says the spider's headed south along the old Higgins Road. At least the town's safe. Mike, will you help me look for it? Yeah, okay. Is it getting us anywhere? Buy you another bracelet. Wouldn't be the same at all. Besides, I'm broke. 
when was the last time you remember having it? Well, it was just before I found the web. I was up there, and then I stumbled. If I dropped it then, it, it should be around here somewhere. Mike. Find it? No, but there's an opening down here. Do you think it could have fallen through? Hey, it looks like there's another cave down there. Maybe we can get into it through this opening over here. Come on. spiders around here. Well, help ought to be here soon now. Sheriff Cagle again, sister. How soon before those long distance lines to Springdale are going to get fixed? Another two hours, maybe. Okay, sister. Keep working on it. Open the door, will you, Simpson? got to do is sit right here and wait for that thing to come back and finish us all off. I was all in favor of sealing off that cave some time ago while the monster was still in it. Wasn't I, Kingman? You can do it right now. It went back to the cave. Yes, sir, I've seen it. The thing to do is to get lumber out there and board that entrance up tight. Boards won't hold it. Any better ideas? You're the road foreman, aren't you, Mr. Haskell? I am. Do you have enough dynamite to blow up the cave entrance? I can blow up half that hill if you want me to. Okay, Sam, go ahead and get the stuff. We'll meet you at your place. Right. Simpson, you've been sworn in. Take care of the office for me till I get back and call the coroner. The rest of you boys come with us. Sheriff's office, Simpson speaking. Oh, hello, Mr. Simpson. Well, this is Joe, Mike's friend. Remember me? Oh, yes, Joe. What's the trouble? Uh, I, I better tell the sheriff. Well, he's not here now. Maybe you'd better tell me. What is it, Joe? Well, it's about my heap. Somebody mooched it off of me today to go for a ride. And it isn't back yet. After what that spider did this afternoon, 
Well, well I was just wondering if the... Well, it's a good idea to check. Now, what's the boy's name? Well, it was Mike and Carol Flynn. Did they get back yet? No. At least I haven't seen them. Did they say where they might be heading? No, sir. Thank you, Joe. I'll look into it. When I need you Leo Sayer I Just close my eyes Sessions presents 70's Gold Robert John Turn the other way And the cats in the cradle and the seas go Harry Chapin The little boy blue and the man on the moon When the lights go down John Stewart Town. 70s Gold, a sensational two-record set featuring 30 of the greatest hits ever assembled in one album. With a song to the top swing. Dire Straits. Blondie. This outstanding collection contains 30 full-length hits by the original artists. It's gonna take a lot of love. Nicolette Larson. I wanna kiss you all over. Exile. When you're inside Gold, a unique offer available by mail only. So order now. Nick Gilder. Sister Sled. 70s Gold is a must for your record collection. This incredible 30 song treasury is yours for only $10.98. Two 8 track or cassette tapes, only $11.98. Here's how to order right now. COD and credit card customers phone 312-965-000. That's 312-965-000. Or save $3 in COD fees by sending $10.98 for record, $11.98 for tape, plus $1 per postage and handling to 70's Gold, Box 5000, Department J, Chicago, Illinois. Illinois residents, please add state tax. Didn't it? Sure, did you just forget? What time is it? I don't know. I haven't got a watch. Got a feeling it's late. It's still light. Don't kid me. That's luminous algae. It grows on cave walls and it shines. Don't you remember Mr. Kingman told our science class? All right, but but from the next cavern you'll see daylight outside. You want to bet? Daylight. Goofed. Never been in this cave before, have we? We're lost. I know. Well, let's hurry up and find our way out. That's what I'm doing. I figure if we just go straight ahead, we'll come to the part we know. Come on, let's go this way. Here's all my fault. 
What do you suppose your mother's thinking? Well, they wouldn't tell her. She's in the hospital having a baby. Well, what about your dad? Uh, he's pretty good, Joe. I, I think he can take it. My mother can't. Not after what happened to my father. Don't make yourself feel bad, Carol. Don't you read it, then. You know, all of a sudden I feel hungry. Me too. I just remembered I've got a candy bar with me. Carol always lets me know when she isn't coming home. Always. But today, I don't know, she just wasn't herself. She attached too much importance to that bracelet. Oh, I hope she and Mike haven't gone back to that cave. Carol, do you see this is the place where we got lost? No, oh, I know the way through there. Yeah, but the spider, Mike. If we stay here, we'll find us. Come on, let's run. There's the hole we fell through. We haven't got far to go now. So I'll climb up through the web. Spider's nest, eh, Kingman? And the spider. That's what you said last time. Now, this time it's for sure. It's got to die. No living organism can survive for long once its food supply is cut off. We'll be ready to blow her up in a couple seconds. Well, let her blow when you're ready. <laughs> You seal them up. You're going to have to open that cave and get them out. Now, don't get excited. We're going to do everything for them we can. How do we go about it, Haskell? Open up the cave again? That's easy to say, Sheriff, but it's going to take some doing. Well, we blew up tons of earth and rock over that opening. Brought half the hillside down. Well, then we better start clearing it away. It'll take days, maybe a week even. Well, there isn't that much time. If the spider doesn't get them, the bad air will. Well, then we better get going. The sooner the better. You've got a car. Go into town and get them to send out a bulldozer. Wait, maybe a quicker way than that. You see that flat shelf a little higher up the mountain? Suppose we dug straight down from there. How about it, Haskell? Looks good to me. Let's get those ropes, picks, and shovels out of that truck. Here's where we go to work. Look at it like that, Mrs. Flynn. 
You've got to remember that cave is a big place, and those kids have a lot of sense. They'll find places where the spider can't get at them. If we do dig our way in, what's to keep it from getting at us? I don't know. What do you say, Kingman? We've got to have some kind of an effective weapon against it. That's obvious. That power line across the hills. If we could bring a cable over from there. Well, what for? Well, let's see if we can electrocute the beast. Nowhere we can find a quarter mile of insulated copper cable this side of Springdale. My cottage is Seems to me I saw a lot of that stuff in there. You want to go for it in the truck, Simpson? Yeah. I'm sure you wouldn't waste any time getting it back. How's it coming? Not bad, but we have plenty to go. Best of everything. Behind the pages of Playboy, you'll find the authors who create the best sellers. Do you think you've had a year of success? Interviewers who reveal the person behind the personality. Uh, but I don't anymore. Award-winning sports analysts and forecasters who give you an up-close look at the teams, the players, and all the action. Playboy's cartoonists point out the humor in today's world with a rare mix of art and wit. <laughs> and there's Playboy's photographers, masters at capturing the sensuous beauty of the world's most breathtaking women. Shoulders are slightly good. Playboy also tips you off to the latest styles. Tunes you into the hottest sounds and stirs your spirit of adventure with exciting new ideas. Informative, entertaining, and provocative. Playboy, the one magazine that gives you a monthly ticket to the best of the good life. And right now, you can get 12 months of Playboy delivered right to you for only $15.50. That's half the newsstand price. So enjoy the very best, the wit, wisdom, and imagination of today's most creative people. Become a Playboy subscriber and step into the exciting world of Playboy. To order your subscription, here's all you do. Just phone toll-free 1-800-228-2040. Call now and get 12 issues of Playboy for only $15.50. Save $15.50 off the $31 newsstand price. Act now. Phone toll-free 1-800-228-2040. Virginia, the $300,000 Richmond World Championship Tennis Classic. Watch Jose Luis Clerc of Argentina battle Fritz Berning of the U.S. for the purse. World Championship Tennis brings you exciting tennis from around the world. This Sunday at 1.30 on Channel 44. a bird's eye view of Chicago and learn about its famous architects and architecture on the Chicago Highlights bus tour sponsored by the Chicago Architecture Foundation Saturday March 20th and 27th for details call 782-1776 
the place we came in? I'm sure it was. It blew up the opening. Oh, what did we do? What was that? Sounds like blasting. How could they know we're in here? I bet they're trying to get us out. Help! 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 They can't hear us. Maybe, maybe if we get closer to where they're working. you'd be the one to brief him on what we're doing. Well, my idea is to tie into that power line, take a couple of electrodes into the cave, get the spider between them, and turn on the juice. We want to create an electric arc, you see, so it jumps through its body like a bolt of light. You think it'll work? It could. How about electrodes? Simpson's bringing them. Have you got tools and rubber gloves? In my Jeep. All we need is the cable and I'm ready to go. That could be Simpson now. <laughs> far enough on it, the spider can't follow us. Don't be scared, just hold on to me. Nothing to walk on over here. Okay. We can't get back. Give me that pick. Does that sound hollow or am I crazy? We broke through. You hear me? We broke through. Is Carol all right? We're going down after them now, Mrs. Flynn. It may take a little while before we find them, but we'll send up news as fast as we can. As soon as I get down there, pass along the cable and the electrodes. Keep it coming. See that I have plenty of slack. No telling how much I'll need once I'm below. But well, don't go down here. Wait for the equipment. Don't wait for the equipment. See you below. Follow that equipment. Carol, it's them! They're coming 
for us. What did I tell you? Hey, we're in here! Hello? Hello? Why don't we split up? All right. You men stay here. Sheriff, better go arm. Yeah, let's have my rifle. Look! getting the kids off a narrow ledge they were trapped on. Excuse me. Oh, Carol! Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you this way. Honestly, I couldn't help it. Mike, you're all right? I'm okay. I guess I was a lot of trouble to you, wasn't I, Dad? Come on, son. Well, it's all right. Everything's out of the cavern. I checked. Yeah, thanks, Jake. Good night, sir. Good night, Astro. Thanks for everything. Sure took you long enough down there. I was checking up. Anything left behind? Nothing but a dead spider. Well, this time he's going to stay dead. Dead and buried. Let's say at least until some egghead comes along and digs it up again. We hope you have enjoyed today's feature and invite you to join us again tomorrow afternoon at 2 on the Sunny Afternoon Movie. On November 30th, 1979, Station WSNS-TV was granted a license by the Federal Communications Commission to serve the public interest as a public trustee until December 1, 1982. Each August 1st, we place in our public inspection file a list of what we consider to have been some of the significant problems and needs of our service area during the preceding 12 months and some of our programming to help meet those problems and needs. 
Station WSNS-TV invites any specific suggestions or comments the public may have regarding station operation and the licensee's programming efforts. Comments should be mailed to Station WSNS-TV, 430 West Grant Place, Chicago, Illinois, 60614. Unless otherwise requested, all letters received will be available for public inspection during regular business hours. at 6 and Wednesday through Friday at 6 on 44. Keep up with the stock market. Start your mornings with AM LaSalle Street coming June 1st on WSNS TV 44 Chicago.